Welcome back to our class. Hold on, let me share my PowerPoint real quick with you. All right, welcome back IP4. This is our fourth class together. And today we are talking about Microsoft Word. All right, what is Microsoft Word? Hold on, let me make the image a bit bigger. Hold on. Okay. Uh, we use Word to write text on the computer. All right. So you use Word to type on the computer. All right. Next, let's move on. What is Word? Word, it's a, is it a hardware? No, it's a software. Word, it's a software. Let's find out more about Word, all right? Let's talk more about the Word window. Title bar. First, we have title bar. What does the title bar do? do. The title bar displays the name of the document. All right. So it shows the name of your file of your paper. So this is Word. And here is your title box right on the top. Title bar right on the top. All right. So this is a zoom in on that. The name of the file is document one, Microsoft Word. And so this is your title bar. So it's right in the middle. Next, we are talking about file tab. Can you say it with me? File tab. What does the file tab do? It helps you to open a new file save as or print and many more. So where is your file tab? Is it here? No. Is it there? No. It's right on the left top corner, right? It's there. So this is your file tab, the file tab. So once you click on it, you get this tab from it. It opens into another tab that you have many options to choose from. Next, we have the document area. What is a document area? The document area is where you can type all your information on it. So it's basically the paper, the white plain paper that you can type on. Next, we have the quick access toolbar. The quick access toolbar. This helps you to quick save or to quick undo. So it's right up here on top of file bar. So this is the quick access toolbar. Next, we have the ribbon. What is the ribbon? It includes the toolbar and most options you will need to type. All right, so this is the ribbon. It has all the necessary tools for you to help you to type and write some documents or information. So first in the ribbon, we have the clipboard. The clipboard is right at the beginning, right here. Next, we have the font, which is here. And you can control the font, how big it is, what style, uh, and all the details about the font 
that, that you're going to type in, how it's going to look. Next, we have the paragraph. It's all the information that can control about the paragraph, how it looks, is it on the right, is it on the left, is it in the middle? Next, we have styles. This is our styles. It's all about the text. It changes your text style. And lastly, we have the editing right at the end. So this is, what's the whole name of this? This is the ribbon, all right. Next, we have the status, status bar, the status bar. The status bar is where it's right down here on the left bottom corner. What does it do? It shows the page. How many pages did you write? So here we have only one page out of one page. And how many words did you type? 100, 1 million, 1,000, how many? Here we have zero. This is called the status bar. Let's open Microsoft and let's check uh, what it does. Let's check Microsoft Word. And let's check the example also, all right? So let me show you the file, all right? Microsoft Word, it's right here. So you just click on, on your Microsoft Word down here, you can see. You click it, you get this page, right? Once you get this page, all you need to do is just click on the blank document. You click on the blank document. You click on it and you get the same page that I showed you, right? All right, let, let's explore it together, all right? So this is our font, right? We, by clicking this one here, we have many options to choose from. So you can choose any type of font that you like. However, usually when we type uh, a research for for our class or our research or whatever, we have to choose Arial or Times New Roman, which it's easier to read. It's very simple type, all right? So for example, let's type something. Let's type, hello, I am teacher Amy. I am here to teach you, all right? So by sometimes when you type and you make some mistake, you will have some lines like this, like a blue color, all right? So by right click using your mouse, you right click on it, it will tell you what's your mistake. So you can fix it. Or if you have a, a dictation mistake, it will tell you too. So let's say I love apples. All right, so now I made a mistake, right? So it shows a red line under my word. I wrote Apple wrong. So I right click on it and it shows me what I wanted to write and full stop. All right, so let's get more into it and try to play with the font. All right, let's make the font bigger using this. Let's make it very big. All right, let's uh by using this we will make it bold what does bold do 
it makes the writing more thick, right? You can see the difference, right? All right. Next, let's make this sentence a bit bigger by using this, all right? This is increase font size by just clicking like this or decrease the font size by just clicking like this, all right? That's all. You can choose and it will change by itself. Next, let's, let's try this one. Underline. Underline, it underlines a sentence just like that. Next one, we have this one. We can use this to tilt the writing. It will tilt the writing, all right? Lastly, we can use many options for the underlining or cross something out, all right? Or change colors. By clicking this, you can change the color of your writing. You can see I can change the colors to any color I like. Or by going here, I can give it a highlight, all right? So using this, you can give any highlight just like that. Or you can choose the select the writing first. You have to select the writing before you make any changes and you can edit it any way you like. There are so many options. So I want you to go by yourself and just practice, see how it looks. Uh, so just see how you like it, all right? So that's it. And then let's see the insert. What does insert do? Insert, you can attach a picture by browsing, all right? You can attach a picture. You can also attach a picture if you just uh, drag and drop from your desktop, okay? And by clicking on it, you can make it smaller, bigger, all right? So this is the insert. Let's go back to home, our home button. Let's talk about the paragraph. The paragraph you can choose to how, uh, wh where, where is the positioning in the page? Is it left to right? Is it middle or is it left, uh, right to left? Okay, this is uh, some choices, all right? So let me close the word for now. And I want you to, uh, I want to show you another uh, document, all right? I will show you some example that I have done for you. All right. Okay, let's go here and open this file. So I will show you for your dictionary, right? All right, before we move on, let me explain to you this one too. How to save on your Word. All you need to do is go to your file on the top right, you click on it and you can save it like this. You just either click save or save as. I want you to watch this video also. It will help you to understand more and uh, two videos, right? And next, I want you to, uh, as your homework for next week, I want you to put uh, all your files together as a Word file and upload the Word file for me, Microsoft Word file for me to the e-learning platform. So I have some small example about your assignment, all right? So what you have to do is something similar like this. So from last week, you had to search about our assignment, right? The picture dictionary, remember? So 
make sure you have completed that. Remember from last week. So you had to do step one and step two, right? So for this class, you are doing step three. So put your uh, all your files that you have researched, you have saved, uh, put it all in Microsoft Word. This is how you do it, all right? So as I already showed you how to drag some image in the Word. So I already dragged it in, right? This is our uh, picture of Apple. By clicking picture format, you can edit your picture, give it different colors. You can make it look like a sketch. You see, I click this, it looks like a sketch, right? Wow, let's go back. And by control Z, you can on your keyboard control Z, it can undo or or by clicking this one on top, you see, that's it. And this goes front, back, front, back, all right. Next thing I want to show you is on picture format, you can give picture border. You can choose any color you like. Let's go for purple. So you can see it has a purple uh, border on our picture. You can make it more thick. Wait, you come to wait and make it however thick you want. Let's make it six, right? You can make it a dash line, different types of lines, all right? You can see there's many ways to edit your pictures. You can click this, you will get a frame. There are so many options for you to choose from, okay? So I want you to try your best, try to play around with Microsoft Word and put all your uh, files together like this. So this is the Apple picture. And then here we have the example of it. Right here, I have some explanation and the name. I I'm, I can make it bold. I can make I can change the color to whatever I like. And by selecting it and clicking this one here, I can make it sentence case or make it upper case. All right. And here I just explain based on my research, I explain what is an apple. I can add more, I can say one apple a day, one apple a day keeps doctor away, all right? But try to make it in the same page, see? I went to the next page, so it's not very good. So all I need to do is just backspace, all right? And it will, it will go back to the last page. So you can see how I made my Pictionary, something similar like this, you can do it. And then next page, I have ball the same, the same way. So, Let's see what else I have. Um, let's go for the cat now. So I will show you how to do for the cat too. All you need to do is, this is the easiest way, just drag in and drop from your desktop, right? I can go to picture format, I can give it some border, right, like this. And I can write that this is a cat, all right? And then I can make it bigger, bolder, just like that. Change the color, make it to go to the middle by pressing center text, 
and then move to the next line, make it smaller a bit, and then talk about the cat. Cats are lovely pets and so on, all right? So you write anything about cats and you explain what are cats, okay? That's it, very easy. Maybe you can try other ways to insert a picture also by clicking this uh, picture from a file. And I just click this and just drag in, all right? Insert. One more time. Insert, you go to insert, you click pictures, picture from a file. You choose the file you want, whatever it is. Let's choose this one or this one. Insert, and here it is, okay? Very easy. Okay, so make sure you have finished step one, step two from last week and today, uh, step three for next week, which is going to be Thursday, 15th of July. So you have to finish uh, this assignment, put all your information from A to Z. Remember, uh, the alphabet is from A to Z. So each alphabet, should you should get one, uh, just like the one I showed you, right? And put all the files together and send it to the e-learning platform by 15. All right, that's all for today. Thank you everyone for listening. Hopefully see you soon. Take care. Have a nice week. Bye-bye.